Forbes 30 Under 30 provides recognition for leaders across multiple industries. It focuses on, on social entrepreneurs in particular, shines a spotlight on those of us that often find ourselves making our own luck and our own opportunities. So in, in 2016, the Forbes Under 30 Summit will be the biggest event in Forbes' 98-year history. We're hosting five simultaneous interconnected summits on, campus, on campuses all around Boston, open to more than 5,000 of the world's top young professionals. We saw what General Electric saw, the highest percentage of residents between 20 and 34 in America, the largest number of college students, the highest percentage of college graduates, an ascendant startup scene, an innovation capital, a city having a moment. Over the past few weeks, we've witnessed something remarkable in these gridlock times. The, a can-do entrepreneurial, bipartisan determination to get people together and get things done for the common good. And I think Forbes Under 30 making the decision to come to Boston, coming on the heels of GE's decision to come to Boston, is just one more exclamation point to the hard work that's been done by so many people over the course of the past several decades to make this a very special place. The Mayor of Boston, Marty Walsh. This, this conference is going to really welcome rising stars from all kinds of different industries, fr from acting to media, engineering to healthcare. Uh, this summit is going to elevate, continue to elevate Boston, continue to, to, to justify why we're on a world stage and continue to express that. We need our young people now more than ever to help us think more broadly about the future of our city and how we can reach that future. We need the brightest minds to keep imagining and dreaming. And we also know that is what Forbes Under 30 Summit represents. So it's this whole community around the world that we want to bring uh, in the entire world of young leadership that we're hoping will converge here in Boston in October.